Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to continue working with sliders in Articulate Storyline. And we're actually going to work on this practice activity. So in this activity, we have a slider, and I can drag the slider to learn more about the waning or waxing moon phases. So you can see how that works just by dragging a slider. Let's go ahead and open up our practice file. All right, if we look at our file, you can see that we only have a couple things going on with the slide. We have some text up here. We have this background image, which is formatted. And then we have this invisible graphic with all of the moon phases. And let me show you what this looks like. If I come down here to the States panel, you can see that it's a series of images that have been placed into different states, right? So it's one graphic with this transparent shape. And then inside of the graphic, if I double click it, you can see that we have some text, a text label. We have the an image of the moon and it just continues through for each of the phases. So one of the things, if you didn't know it, is right with, with states, you don't have to keep everything in the same place. In this case, these images are all over the slide, but each state has its own graphics in it, so you have a lot of freedom to uh, move objects and label objects any way you like. I'm going to click Done, Editing States, and right now the initial state is set to normal, which is this transparent shape. Go ahead and set the initial state to five, so we're actually seeing the full moon. And we do that by just changing the initial state right here to state five. There we go. So that's the first thing learners will see when the slide loads. Let's go ahead and add our slider to control these moon phases. So I'm gonna minimize my timeline here. And we'll go up to insert, slider. And you can choose any one of these. Choose this first one is fine, and I'll just click and drag to place my slider on the slide. Now if I open up my, my moon graphics here one more time, you see that we have a total of nine different states, right? Dif nine different phases for the moon. We have the normal state, and then we have the uh, custom states one through nine. So I'm going to set my slider to match that. So I want my first starting point to be at one, and the end to be at nine so that each of these values for the slider variable corresponds to one of the specific moon phases. Now I also want the slider thumb to be here in the middle, and I can do that one of two ways. I could drag it, right, and you can see how the initial state, the initial position updates, or I can just enter five to place it here in the center. And I might want to just reposition the slider just a little bit so that it is in the center of my slide, okay? Now to set this up, we need triggers. We need triggers to evaluate the position or value of each point uh, on my slider and then change the state of the moon graphic to reflect those. So let's go ahead and add our first trigger. So create a new trigger. And what do we want to do? Well, we want to change the state of this moon graphic. So change state of an object, in this case the moon box, to state one, not when we click, but when slider moves, and we only have one slider here. If we had several, we'd see them, you'd see them in the drop down, but we only have one. On the condition that slider one is equal to one. Change it to state one when the value is one. Go ahead and click OK. Now all we need to do is copy, paste, and then modify this trigger eight more times. So I'm just going to right click and choose copy. I can right click and choose paste or I could choose paste from up here. And this time we can change the custom state to two when the value is two. And keep pasting it down. We change it to three when the value is three. And minimize my slide layers and paste this again. And I'll just continue this and I'll resume in just a moment with the uh, tutorial. Okay, so we have nine triggers and each one is working with the same slider, but just adjusting the state of our moon box based on the value of the slider. Let's go ahead and preview. So we have the moon slider here at the uh, state five, the custom state, and we have the slider here in the middle. And as I move the slider to the left, I can see that it updates and changes the moon box graphic just as we intended, right? So each time I'm moving this, it's just changing the value of the slider to one through nine. Okay, let's go ahead and close our preview. 
That's really all there is to working with sliders. In the next tutorial, we'll look at some ways to customize our slider so that it visually aligns with the design theme of our moon phase graphic.